Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney. Today, I want to share with you a landlord tenant marketing idea um, that I had today that I talked with somebody about. Um, before I get to that, I want to invite you to join the sanctuary. Um, this idea that I'm gonna tell you about um, came out of a conversation that I had with a one-on-one -on -one meeting that I have with all sanctuary members, and it's sort of a snippet, sort of a slice, a look into a lot of the things that we talk about all the time. So if you think this is good stuff and uh, you might want to know more, then go to go uh, come and join the sanctuary, okay? LawyerSanctuary.com. It's $147 a month, which means one new client, just one, pays basically for your whole year, okay? LawyerSanctuary.com. Come and check it out, all right? So I was, uh, I was having a conversation with Rob today. Rob is a new, old sanctuary member. He actually came. He was a member for a long time, left for a little bit and came back. And um, we had his one-on-one -on -one today. He does landlord tenant law. And we were talking about, uh, he's, he's looking um, to increase his marketing. He does the landlord side of like of the of landlord tenant law. So he's looking for ways to, to um, essentially market to landlords, okay? And what I love about marketing to, to, to um, groups like this is that you can identify them. Okay, you know who they are. You can like cherry pick them and find them. You know, if you're looking for somebody that needs estate planning, for example, it could be anybody on the street. It's not like they're walking around with a big sign that says, I need a will. But a landlord kinda is. You can find out who owns the property. You can identify property management companies. Like there are these people that are landlords or, or manage property or, and need to evict renters. And these people are actually, um, you can find them. And the ability to find them actually makes marketing um, um, maybe not easier, but different, um, and in some ways easier. And what we came up with, I was talking, and the way I sort of do this is I just start talking. <laughs> I just start spitting out these ideas until something good comes. And what, what came out of this was something that I don't know if I've actually even talked about before anywhere else, but it was good enough that I, I wanted to share with everyone. But basically what I would do, when I told him what I would do if I was him, is I would basically make a list, okay, of like the 100 um, landlords that I wanted to try to do business with, okay, because when it comes to landlords as well, one of the great things is you often have recurring business because they'll, they'll need an eviction here, they'll need an eviction there. I mean, people are, people, you know, come and go with these things. And you can also find landlords or, pro or property management companies that have many, many doors, right? There are, there are property management companies that have thousands of doors, which means a lot of opportunities for work. And I told him what I would do if I was him, I would sort of make like this dream 100, which, which is a term of art, um, of the 100 landlords slash property management companies that I wanted to work with. And then what I would do is this. I would send them out a letter basically every month, okay? And in this letter, I would tell them two things. I would tell them, number one, I would talk, explain to them why I was amazing at what I did, how I could provide value to them, and I would let them know that if they reached out to me and talked to me, I have a system put together where I, where I can provide sort of a volume discount. Like if you have X doors, then I can do an eviction for X dollars kind of a thing. But the second thing that I would do, and this is where the magic happens, is I would tell them that I am holding a monthly um, like training session for landlords to try to teach them how to get, how to get better evictions, get lower evictions, um, you know, like teach them the ins and outs of these things so that they do things right, so that they don't end up spending more money, so that they don't end up having other claims made against them, right? And I would be doing this every month via Zoom, okay? So every month I send a letter out, it tells them something about me, and it offers to have them come and join this Zoom meeting. The beauty is most of those landlords are going to come, especially right now because of COVID, right? There's all these different things going on. So pretty much any business owner, anyone that's worried about anything is going to want to come to this training because of the uncertainty of the of of life okay and what happens is when they register for the zoom meeting what do you get you get their name you get their email you get their phone number right you can get whatever you ask for and so not only now do you have these letters that you can write but you also have all this other contact information so you can start reaching out to them you can start creating a relationship with them you can start doing these things. I also then would email them every month about the upcoming training and invite them to email any other landlords that they know that might want to come because landlords sort of hang out together. Um, I would imagine. I know that that all, all my real estate peeps hang out and they always talk. 
and you would be able to sort of grow your audience. And as you grew this audience, you would just be giving helpful information. You would be doing these trainings every month. You would be letting them know every month about your expertise and about what you can do and about um, you know how, how great your system is or whatever. And people would start to hire you and they would just hire you over and over and over and over again, right? And that's it. Now, let me tell you the key, okay? This is the key. This is where the sanctuary comes in. When I told him that, he was like, great. I gotta figure out how to scale this. I gotta figure out what my pricing is gonna be like. I gotta figure out all of these different things. And I said, no, you don't, okay? And by the way, this is for all of you that are watching or listening right now or in the future or whenever. You don't have to worry about all those details down the road. You know what you need to do? You need to make a list of as many landlords as you can come up with, even if it's five or 10. You need to send that first communication out. You need to set that first training up and you need to have it, okay? Stop worrying about all the details down the road put the thing together and take action. What will happen is after you have the first training, after you send out the first letter, you can say to yourself, okay, what did I like about what happened? What did I not like about what happened? And you keep the things that you like, you fix the things that you don't like, and you do the whole process all over again the next month. And then you do it again. What did I like? What did I not like? And you keep doing that over and over and over again. You keep taking action. And when the problems arise that you need to solve, this volume pricing, for example, you figure it out at that time, okay? Stop looking so far ahead, stop dreaming so far ahead, stop planning so far ahead that you don't take any action. Okay, that's probably the biggest problem that I see with, with almost everybody. There's no action taken. Like It's okay to mess up, it's okay to fail. It's okay, by the way, to do this and send this out to 50 people and have nobody show up. You know what you do the next month? You write a better letter, okay? That's how you do it. Nobody cares if nobody shows up except for you. So you gotta take action, you gotta promote your business, you gotta go after the thing that you wanna go after, and, um, and that's the only way you're gonna get what you want, okay? All right, that's it. Like I said, I thought it was a good idea. And uh, so anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you know somebody needs to hear this, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. Oh, well, by the way, real quick, how does this apply to everybody else? Well, if you're a business owner, or if, you, or if you're a business attorney, and you're marketing to, to businesses, this is a great thing to do. If there's anybody that you can identify in your scheme, in your, in your, not in your scheme, in your world that, that can refer you business, that can do these things, um, do the same thing, right? This is sort of like networking at scale in a way um, with exactly the people though that you want to be talking to, okay? So that's it, which is now to my call to action again. If you want more of this, if you want specific help with your own law firm, if you want these ideas generated specifically and, and, and um, like, wow, just strategically right for your law firm, LawyerSanctuary.com. Yeah, okay, so Pete says, how does this apply for criminal defense attorneys? Bail bondsmen, I would be reaching out to. I would reach out to bankruptcy attorneys. I would just be having uh, meetings with as many people as I can, and I would just train them, really, probably on how your business works. Um, you have to think outside of the box a little bit if you don't have clients that you can readily identify, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but if you come to the sanctuary, I'll break it all down for you, because we'll have a one-on-one. -on -one. I can show you how to do it. I'll tell you how to do it for sure. Uh, but if you're interested in that, anybody's interested in that, LawyerSanctuary.com. If you're not, the, the, the content that's here right now will get you going if you just take action. Okay? Um, that's it. As always, I am Christopher Small. I'm the unconventional attorney. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya. Thanks, Pete.